now for the Peer Channel Overnight News for this early Thursday morning, January 15th, 2015. Good morning, everybody. I'm Peter Wiggins and I, your Overnight News. Our top story at 12.06 in the morning time here is... A criminal complaint filed in U.S. District Court in Ohio. Judges Christopher Lee Cornell with attempt to kill a federal officer in possession of a firearm for replacement. Attempted act of violence. Tommy Caldwell, 36 of Estes Park, Colorado, and Kevin Jorgensen, 30 of Santa Rosa, California, celebrate after reaching the summit of El Capitan on Yosemite National Park in California. Alan Carter in the Arabian Peninsula claimed responsibility Wednesday for the last week's rampage that killed 12 people at Francis Chelly Head Bull's satirical magazine. Performance caused exploitation at Detroit Auto Show reflects industry's optimism. New York Jets, San Francisco 49ers and Oakland Raiders turn to defensive coaches. A team of researchers reported Wednesday that the ocean did not rise quite as much as previously believed in the 20th century as they proposed a seemingly tiny adjustment that could make a big difference in scientific understanding of the lumen problem. Pope Francis arrives in the Philippines today to rally the millions of faithful in Asia's most Catholic country and offer comfort to the victims of the biggest typhoon in recorded history on yesterday. The United States released five more Yemeni detainees from the prison camp in Guantanamo Bay in Cuba on Wednesday to far flung locations, four to the Arabian Sea nation of Oman and a fifth to the Estonia of Northern Europe. In continued transfers, the International Committee of the Red Cross has warned about the growing humanitarian crisis in Niger and Niger, Niger as tens of thousands of refugees flee deadly Boko Haram attacks. Indonesian air traffic controls and sophisticated pilots say, David Cameron and Barack Obama have vowed to defeat the distorted ideology of terrorism said of talks in Washington. In Chicago, a Uber X driver charged with sexual assault in a male passenger as Adrian Desvat allegedly overpowered a man when he picked up as a Uber driver in the Boys Town on Chicago's north side. In Washington, President Obama will announce on Thursday that he is directing federal agencies to give their employees up to six weeks of paid leave after the benefit of adoption of his child leave benefiting once they extend to all American workers. In Washington, Governor Terry McAuliffe of Virginia shared his vision for a new economy in the state and his own address on Wednesday while raising a rallying cry from the Democratic Party's leading issues. Alligator found in box with two dead cats in Los Angeles' backyard. Bank America and Citigroup could face questions about whether they would be buried or broken up when they report the earnings Thursday, experts say. Reserve Bank of India's Governor Rahman Rajan cut interest rates in an unscheduled review to revive growth in Asia's third largest economy after inflation ease. General Motors Company CEO Mary Barr on Wednesday said she had gotten tougher as CEO but not meaner as she sees herself as one of the many agents of change in the Detroit automaker. The latest Google Trends late uses your phone's camera to read foreign street signs even when offline. Google has come a long way since it first publicly Moda work in airport type during Google I.O. last summer. Model colleague Gwen Zoe accused Bill Cosby abuse meets with police. Ruth Jenner doctored as women of cover of In Touch magazine. Actor Bradley Cooper travel planner Texas attend the American sniper movie premiere at Cinema West Plano along Chris Kyle Guido. Taya Kyle and others on Wednesday night. Meanwhile, it's my now that had a much impact as early planet formation as we fought as a space rock center commonly considered to be the building blocks of the planet's planet. A new study by MIT and Purdue scientists suggests that the rocks are really. A new study shows that the planets turn their traps on on and often to learn more break. Evolved cases in Sierra Leone have fallen for the second straight week and health experts say that the region could be turned in a corner in a rattle against the disease. Being sedentary may be a as deadly as being close. A new study should suggest, however, even a little exercise, a risk 20 minute walk each day, for example, is enough to reduce the risk of early death. On Wednesday, the U.S. epidemic of prescription painkiller abuse may be started with reverse occurs, a new study suggests. Okay, take a look at New England and Slurts here in Bridgewater, New Jersey. A fatal pedestrian struck on I-70 eastbound 
east of Exit 29, protection struck by auto pronounced dead on the ravelers. New Jersey State Police Department and Assault and Spanning Lane School for Investigation. FDNY Queens All Hands Box at 5065 at 16717 110F New US. Find a second floor at a two story 20 by 40 private drones. Fire knocked down in the snap. Probable wall. Hold. Take a look at Spots News. With Thursday's NFL early entry did live Lumen Marcus Mariota had to make a snappy decision after playing for the national championship game on Monday. And after a continued rebuilding process, the line Braves added a handful of future assets Wednesday, Dylan Slugger, Evan Gaddis to the Houston Naturals in exchange for three minor league prospects. The Boston Celtics lose to the Atlanta Hawks 105 91. Other NBA scores was Golden State Warriors leading the Miami Heat. 6-1-50 with 7-13 left in the third quarter. Los Angeles Clippers lead the Portland Trailblazers to 6-4-57 with 6-59 left in the third quarter. San Antonio Spurs lead and defeat the Charlotte Hornets, 99-3. Orlando Magic over the Houston Rockets, 120-113. Memphis Grizzlies over the Brooklyn Nets, 103-92. Toronto over the Philadelphia 76ers, 184. Norm Pelicans over the Detroit Pistons, 105-94. Washington Wizards over the Chicago Bulls, 105-99, and Denver Nuggets over the Dallas Mavericks, 114-107. NHL scores, it's the New Jersey Devils leading the Los Angeles Kings 4-1 with three fifths that have been left in the second period. And Ducks, food two periods, lead the Toronto Maple Leafs, 3 to the afternoon. Montreal Canadiens edge at the Columbus Blue Jackets, 3-2, and Washington Capitals flank the Philadelphia Flyers, 1-0 in the air. And the Not Lancers High School hockey team skate to a 2 2 tie with the Foxbury Warriors at Foxbury Sports Center here. And later that, the Boston Bruins be at the TD Garden to take on New York Rangers here. Peter Channel News time is now 12 11 here. And then it's time to take a look at the traffic situation here on this early Thursday morning air. And it shows smooth sailing highways about ways in New England there. And we got one slow spot on 395 in Connecticut air. A little slow on 395 around Route 6 here in East Brooklyn, but. Otherwise, a smooth sailing commute here on this early Thursday morning here. Peter Chell News Sam 12-14 here, and it is time now for a low weather report here. And we have a winter weather report as we affect until noon Eastern Standard Time on Thursday, the natural weather. Service in Taunton and Tottenham is digital web to web advisory for light freeze and drizzle, which will affect until noon Eastern Standard Time to Thursday. Locations Eastern Massachusetts has to attack light freeze and drizzle. Accumulation of snow, accumulation up to an inch, and along with some trace of ice possible. Time of fact Thursday morning, I'm practicing as would result in slippery conditions on untreated roadways and sidewalks. Temperatures in the 20s and precaution prepare sections of winter web advisory is if it should win. Snow and an ice is forecast to develop in the affected areas, but the accumulations are expected to be like any snow ice will result in slippery conditions on untreated roadways and sidewalks. When temperatures are below freezing, motorists need to be especially be careful in bridges or passes where slippery spots can be easily developed. Day 1 tonight, Winter Weather Advisory. Day 2 for 7 Thursday for Tuesday, Winter Weather Advisory here. Okay, 7 day forecast that goes like this here. While you're sleeping in overnight hours and at a uh, chance of snow showers and freezing drizzle, class got lower than 19 degrees, not more about 6 miles by chance of station 40%. Total of that time, snow accumulation less than a average possible. For Thursday, scattered snow showers with a uh, mainly before 9 a.m. with some class got about 29 degrees, light off wind. Chance of station 30%, new snow accumulation less than average possible. For that, most of class got would have lower than 21 degrees. Calm wind becoming southwest wind 6 miles by an evening. For Friday, South Carolina, 34 degrees. West, what about 7 11 miles because I 28 miles per hour. 
Finite clues got lower than 500 degrees. No force would about 69 miles per hour. Chance of precipitation is 0% with a gust size 23 miles per hour. Saturday, Saturday the podcast got about 25, low about 19 degrees. For Sunday, rain like with Muslim, most of got about 46, low about 31 degrees. Chance of precipitation is 40 to 60%. For Martin Luther King Day and Monday, Pot Center the podcast got about 38, low about 16 degrees. And for Tuesday, most of the most of got about 29, low about 17 degrees. And for Wednesday, Pot the Science got about 35 degrees. Not temperature set at 26 degrees overcast guys. And that's me if the period shall overnight news on its early Thursday morning, during 15, 2015. Viewers have a good night and a good morning. I'll see you later on in the morning. Good night.